We can report this morning that Lenin has fallen in Kiev. It's not what you think. Angry protesters have toppled a statue of the founder of the Soviet state in Ukraine's capital during the largest protest yet about the country's future. Now, hundreds of thousands of people rallied in the city centre in the biggest demonstration since the Orange Revolution of 2004, as anger mounts over the government's decision to spurn closer ties with Europe in favour of keeping ties with Russia. Europe correspondent Mary Gearin reports. This is the symbolic vision that every revolution looks for. The toppling of Lenin's statue marks the rejection of Ukraine's ties with Russia on the night of the biggest demonstrations in the country since the Orange Revolution of 2004. This man, an opposition party member, says the fact the statue stood here for 22 years of Ukraine's independence symbolises that we never got past the occupation. He says he thinks Ukraine will change now that this symbol has fallen. Earlier in the day, the crowds gathered amid continuing fury that the government has turned east rather than west, rejecting pacts with Europe in favour of Russia. Crowds heard from the daughter of jailed opposition leader Yulia Tymoshenko, who galvanised people power a decade ago. Yevgenia Tymoshenko urged protesters to overthrow the government and says Ukrainians are walking down a razor's edge between the complete collapse into a brutal dictatorship and the return home to a European community. Just days after Ukraine's president Viktor Yanukovych met with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin, the country's opposition says it has evidence the leader is planning to impose martial law. We strongly oppose any kind of con unconstitutional actions that can be enacted by this president in imposing any kind of, mar of martial law or curfew. And we will fight for our freedoms. And we ask the president Yanukovych not to make any unconstitutional steps. With passions escalating on the streets, the way out of this confrontation for Ukraine seems increasingly fraught. Mary Gearin, ABC News. Tea. Uh, Mary Gearin with uh, that report there. And uh, we can bring you also now live uh, footage of, this is a live vision of a concert that's going on in Independence Square in Kiev there as part of the, the, the many days long protests that have gone on in and around the capital Kiev uh, in protest of that move away from joining with the EU. People have not left that part of the city for days and as you saw they toppled the statue. So it's just been a, a building a revolution, a, a groundswell of protest by, by locals there, Michael. We have been reporting the story for what, a week and a half, two weeks and the crowds have built steadily over the course of that time and if anything they're getting even bigger. Uh, thankfully uh, the situation is still quite calm um, as, this, as this concert goes on, but the next few weeks will be critical just to see how the government responds and what tactics the government uses to respond to deal yes. with this growing anger from Ukrainians about just uh, their, their decision not to talk Turkey, do deals with the EU. Yes, it's the response of the authorities that's going to be the, the crucial thing now. So that's the live image that you can see there from the capital of Ukraine, Kiev.